<laughs> right? Now you may be hungry right before dinner. <laughs> uh, we're looking across the area with more of those scattered showers coming in. So if you have plans outside this evening, plan accordingly to deal with those showers. Right now, almost dividing Franklin County in half. The easternmost part around the airport in Gahanna and Groveport and Black Lake, you're dry. Central parts and off toward the west, we're seeing increasing showers in coverage and intensity where you see the darker green and the yellow. Those are some downpours and some gusty winds, and those are moving from southwest to northeast. So Marion and Delaware, you're just on the leading edge of those downpours. Not quite yet heading into areas to the north and east of that in Morrow County and Knox County and Licking County, but they too will be under the gun for those showers very, very soon. Expanded perspective shows the round number one that came through Circleville about 60 to 90 minutes ago, now right on the edge of Pickaway County and Circleville, and then all the way back to I-75. So this slug of rain is going to be with us for the rest of the evening through the next hour or two, right up until sunset and then beyond. We're still tracking more showers behind that, although not quite the concentration or the coverage, more scattered nature. That's key to the forecast for the rest of tonight and for tomorrow and then for Saturday. Outside of right now, we're looking at the uh, tower camera from Heath Newark that shows cloudy skies continuing. Looks like some wet roadways there. They're not getting the heavier showers at the moment, but they soon will as those couple of bands of rain march from west to east. Temperatures 50s and 60s out there uh, just before the 5 o'clock broadcast. I stepped outside. It wasn't that bad, but dealing with a bit of a breeze out there, so keep that in mind too. Hour by hour through tonight into tomorrow morning shows several more rounds of rain coming in. Temperatures kind of stabilizing in the low to mid 50s as we get through tonight and tomorrow morning. Starting off the day with cloudy skies and a more scattered showers that continues. I do think the concentration of showers decreases with time, so that will still carry some between 5 and 7 p.m. Kickoff time 7 o'clock, by the way, for those high school games tomorrow. But those showers will be few and far between and moving out. Everybody should end the game dry, and that trend continues into Saturday morning. So tomorrow's forecast will be a little cooler. It'll be breezy and it'll be damp, but the chance of showers again tapering off by tomorrow evening. So your football plans look okay. Plan for maybe some wet benches and seats, but things should dry out to the second half and beyond. Now, Saturday, we've got the Buckeye game at the Shoe. Those parking lots open at 5 o'clock in the morning. Really early and it looks good to start the day although the showers come back in quickly by lunchtime kickoff time is at noon scattered showers in and out during the day half time around 2 30 to 4 o'clock the end game comes to an end we'll see a few more of those scattered showers so again not a wall-to-wall -wall washout or a ton of rain but be prepared especially if you're going to the game or tailgating to be on the damp side especially in the second part of the day temperatures will be cooling off to start the day but back into the 50s to finish we'll continue to cool down on Sunday Monday morning Morning could be cold enough to see some frost around Tuesday to Wednesday back in the upper 60s, close to 70, and then cooler and wet for next weekend.